week of Easter 5, Friday, The Nightmare of a Fool, Part 4. In the house of the righteous there is much treasure, but trouble befalls the revenue of the wicked. Proverbs 15, verse 6. Dearly beloved, the house of the righteous is the house of God, wherein abides the Lord and his children. That house may be a nomadic tent, a cathedral, an apartment, or a little white church. Within is the treasure of the righteous. These riches the Lord showers upon his children and extend throughout time and into eternity. It is not so in the house of the unbelievers. Their treasures stir up trouble as life is lived apart from God's grace and as death approaches. The rich man heard nothing but the timepiece pounding out the seconds before midnight. The sound turned from a chiming to the clanking of a death knell. Eight, nine, ten. Nothing. I hear nothing from you, O God. But wait, what was it he said? Fool, this night your soul will be required of you? Ridiculous. God is love, and this is all a nightmare, isn't it? I will wake up any second now. Crow, you blasted rooster, announce the dawning of a new day. Quick, for I heard the sound of the eleventh clank. It is one second before midnight, one second before the end. Crow, you lazy, slothful rooster, and wake me from this horrible nightmare. I mean, I am asleep, aren't I? I mean, this is all just a bad dream, isn't it? This is not real, right? It's just a story extended over four devotions, correct? It, it doesn't apply to me, does it? When Jesus finished speaking this parable about the rich man, he proclaimed the point of the parable, saying, So is he who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Luke 12, verse 21. To be rich toward God is to be rich in the treasures of God the blessings that he declares concerning his people and provides us through his word and sacraments. These come because of the person and work of the incarnate Son of God. This overflowing wealth includes the jewel of holy baptism, being proclaimed a child of God, the abundant treasury of forgiveness of sins, comforting peace with God, made an heir of heaven, the rich cash of complete pardon, the multifaceted salvation of the Lord, and the rich feast of victory at the table of the Lord. The church is given the key to heaven and called to announce the absolution which grants such a heavenly treasure. Being rich toward God includes the goodness of God that leads us to repentance, Romans 2.4, and the supplying of all our needs, especially granting us faith to believe such promises of God and all according to God's riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, verse 19. Flowing from the grace of God and faith in Christ, the Christian works. It may mean the vocation of a farmer and involve building bigger barns. It does mean supporting the work of the church at home and in the mission fields of this world. The Lord gives us his treasure chest called his word, the key which is Christ, the turnkey which is the Holy Spirit, and instructs his under-shepherds to command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty, nor to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who gives us richly all things to enjoy. Let them do good, that they may be rich in good works, ready to give, willing to share, storing up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. 1 Timothy 6, verses 17 through 19. I hope and pray that the rich blessings of the Lord continue to be yours today. Enjoy the rest of this day, and may God grant you a peaceful slumber this night, one free from any sort of nightmares, but especially from the nightmare of a fool. Prayer based on Proverbs 30, verses 8 and 9. Lord, two things I ask of you. Deny them not to me before I die. Remove far from me falsehood and lying. Give me neither poverty nor riches. 
Feed me with the food that is needful for me, lest I be full and deny you, and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. Amen. Hymn number 558, stanza 5. When in the night I sleepless lie, my soul with heavenly thoughts supply. Let no ill dreams disturb my rest, no powers of darkness me molest. 